Right, from time to time, your student may need to cancel the lesson, maybe because he's sick or something important turns up. So what do you do? Will you give a replacement or make up lessons or not? This is the tutor's dilemma, isn't it? And uh, sometimes that when they need to schedule a replacement or make up lessons, it might eat into their personal time, family time, it, they may need to cancel their plans, or it will make their daily life quite difficult. So to give or not to give a replacement lesson, what is your policy? Please share your comments below. So in this video, we are going to talk about some suggestions on it. Let's begin. Hi, welcome back. So the first suggestion is to give no makeup lessons. According to composecreate.com, yes, this is say, a growing number of teachers make it their policy never to give makeup lessons unless they are the ones that cancel lessons. The reasoning behind this policy is that the teacher is scheduled to be present for the student's lesson at a specific time. If the student cannot make it, then the teacher cannot schedule a new student for that one solitary lesson. The time is reserved for that specific student. If you feel badly about offering no makeups, you can spend that lesson time making lesson plans, worksheets or other plans for that specific student so that you can tell the parent that time was still being used for the student. The second suggestion is the reciprocal policy. So what that means is that if the, if the student decides to cancel the lesson, then the student will continue to pay for the lesson. And if the tutor decided to cancel the lesson, then the tutor will pay the student the fee for that lesson. So that can be quite fitting because uh, sometimes the student may need to cancel the lesson due to illness and uh, so he pays the tutor the, the, the fee for the lesson. At other times, the tutor also may get sick and he needs to cancel the lesson. So he needs to pay the student the lesson that he cancelled. So in the long run, it's just going to balance out. So that is also a very good policy to consider. And the third suggestion is to give phone lessons or Google Meet zoom or via skype lessons uh, during the student's regular schedule time uh, this is when the student the student is not feeling well but is not too sick to be in bed suggestion number four is to give free group classes so according to composecreate.com it mentions here that you may want to offer all of your students the opportunity to attend a few free group or performance classes in the year. This can help parents feel like they are getting a makeup for a missed lesson since the class is free. And uh, suggestion number five is to use the sickness options. So that is actually related to the first point about not giving makeup lessons. So probably you may want to uh, include that in your terms and conditions. So the suggestion number five on the sickness options, uh, uh, according to composecreate.com, it has this to say. Some teachers may opt to only give makeup lessons for lessons missed due to illness. This means like a reasonable policy, but you might, you might want to make sure you have specific guidelines so that the policy is not abused. For example, what is sickness? Does a headache count? Do allergies count? You might also make sure that you specify how many lessons can be made up for sickness or how much advance warning is required for the makeup. And suggestion number six is to give the lessons to the siblings. So if your student cannot attend the lesson for various reasons, uh, his or her brother or sister can attend the lesson. So that way the parents uh, can feel that the lesson is not being wasted. And suggestion number seven is to actually give the replacement or makeup lessons. 
So for tutors, tutors who decided to do that, uh, it would be good if they are really flexible, they have plenty of free slots to offer. So that way it will really keep the stress levels down and uh, they will be able to give those lessons to them. So my final thought on this is that uh, you may want to employ or choose a combination of the suggestions above and uh, ultimately you have to decide which one or policy that you are comfortable with and uh, it is good to make it clear to the parents uh, at the very start either verbally or in writing and uh, if, you, if they have decided to so parents actually have the option to decide whether they can accept it or not. So if they find it difficult to accept it, it will be courteous on our part to try to reach out and help them to find a suitable, suitable tutor that really meet their needs. So please give your thoughts on this matter again. And uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.